Hi, this is my 50 gallon planted angelfish aquarium. Uh, as you can see, I have quite a few angelfish in there, and I wanted to come up with a fun little project to do uh, with some electronics to see if I could automate some of the uh, functions that are needed to care for an aquarium. Uh, so what I did is I purchased a couple different versions of these. Not sure if you can see that. This is the Arduino Uno. Uh, basically what this is is a small microcontroller. Uh, using these little black ports here, you can connect sensors and that sort of thing. You can build robots and automated aquarium controllers. Uh, so I just wanted to show you a few of the things I've come up with. Uh, here's the actual setup here. Here is the Arduino, Arduino Mega right here. Uh, connected to that is an Ethernet shield, which lets me connect it to the Internet. Uh, it sends Twitter updates every 10 minutes, so I can monitor the aquarium temperatures uh, when I'm away from home. Here is the LCD screen attached to it. Not sure if you can see that. Uh, that has its own built-in menu, which I'll show you in a second. Here is the power relay. This controls the aquarium lights. There is a infrared sensor here on the breadboard. I also have an up, down, and enter button. I have a line going here which is for the moonlights. And this line going into the tank. Not sure if you can see that right here. Their little friend watching us here. This is our water temperature probe. And I'll show you the three different ways I can use to actually connect and control the aquarium. The first one's using the on-screen menu here. Uh, there's a couple different options here. In the main menu we first have the temperature info here. So here's the current temp tank temperature. I also have a sensor connected up to the board here showing the room temperature. I have a shortcut here forcing a Twitter update. Like I said it runs every 10 minutes uh, in case I just want to test it or force an update I can hit that. If I go to the feeding menu here I have a couple different options. Uh, if we go up to the feed fish menu, I'll get up for this here. And I have a motor connected here to this pill bottle with this line that runs down this way. If I hit the enter button here under feed fish, I'll actually show you how I feed them. As you can see, the angelfish really enjoy that. I've actually gotten so trained on it already, as soon as it moves, they jump right in front of it, waiting for food to fall down. Moving on, if we go to the lights menu. This uses the relay to control the main lights. Basically I've spliced in an extension cord here and it's connected to this relay. Using these wires I can connect to the relay and turn each of them on, on and off, activating a lever that completes the circuit. So if I hit the main light button here, oop, there we go. We'll turn off the main fish tank lights. And while I have that off, I'll show you the moonlight. Not sure if you can see those or not, but I have a strand of LED lights soldered together using speaker wire. Those create a little uh, ambient light for nighttime. Uh, it simulates moonlight for the fish, and it helps you see at nighttime through the tank. If I turn these tank lights back on. And finally, if we go to the main menu, the last option is another shortcut to update Twitter. I'll go ahead and hit that just to force a Twitter update. And to show you how that works, as you can see, we just did an update here, and here's the last update. Uh, the RAND value 
It's just a random number added in to make sure that Twitter doesn't reject the post because it rejects uh, repeat posts and it would reject this if I didn't have another number added in there uh, to make it unique every time I send an update. Anyway, that's it for the screen control. Uh, another way I control the aquarium is with this IR sensor right here. Uh, every time it receives an infrared signal, it sends a high signal to this port on the Arduino. You can decode the various pulses that it sends out to control the same settings that I have uh, running on some of the other options. Uh, if I use just a standard remote control here and hit the power button, I can also control the tank using my remote control. And just the same way I did that, I can also recontrol it with the screen. So I have two different ways to control it via remote control, via the on screen menu. And finally, the last way, as I had mentioned, that it has an Ethernet cord going into it, so it's also internet controlled. Uh, my iPad is connected to the internet here. And the Arduino serves up the simple web page I have here. If I hit off on the iPad, the lights will go off. Let's go ahead and turn them back on. And I can control all the same functions I control at the tank on the screen uh, from a distance with the remote control. And I can actually control everything on my tank from anywhere in the world, from an internet connected cell phone, uh, web browser, computer, uh, everything's all set so I can control it anywhere I'd like. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message. Thanks.